Hi, I'm Mark Lane, Product Manager for Enlight Air. And today we're gonna to demonstrate how to program Enlight Air devices post-installation after power has been applied. We're gonna start in this first scenario with our NVEX Luminaire, and it's got an RES7 sensor, an Enlight Air sensor. We're gonna pair it today with our wall switch, the RPOD BA, which is a battery powered wall switch. All programming is gonna be done through the Clarity Pro mobile app, so let's get started. Once you've created a login, we're gonna click tap sign in, and this is gonna be syncing up with our cloud. So it's important at this stage that you are able to be connected to the internet. We're gonna be syncing with the cloud and downloading information um, so that you've got the latest and greatest. So let's wait a few moments while we sync with the cloud. All right, we're now on our site page and we're gonna create our first site. So create, tap the plus icon and type in your site name as well as company information and an address. And once you've completed all that information, tap the create button and that will create the site. Now we can go to our site list and select that site. Again, We've got to be connected to the internet, but this is a great point to mention that you can have multiple people on a job site programming in light air uh, devices. It will all sync up with the cloud. And when you come back to the site, you'll get the latest and greatest information downloaded. So here we are on our site overview screen. We're going to start by selecting groups. Tap the plus icon in the bottom corner and we will type in our first group name. Hit the create button and now we're going to select devices this brings us to our grid it's really a reflected ceiling plan so you're going to place devices as they would naturally be in the space select the plus icon in the bottom left corner and first we're going to select outputs now you can see our aria 7 fixture is listed in that list this is really a list that's going to show the fixture that is closest to your phone in that order. You can also tap the identify button. This is helpful to allow you to make sure that you're connected to the right fixture or device. You can see it flashing now that I've hit identify. Tap the blue arrow next to the identify button and place that device somewhere on your grid to get started. It will do a security exchange at this point. Make sure that we can connect to that device and this is a correct um, product to be connected together. Once that has been placed, we can now add more devices. So tap the plus icon in the bottom, and this time let's select switches. So we're gonna add our RPOD BA switch. Now you can see that there is nothing so far on the list. However, to wake up a battery powered switch, we simply tap a button on it, and you can see it in the list. You can tap the identify button as well to see the light pipes blink making sure that you've got the right device. And again, tap the blue arrow and place it on your grid. Again, we'll go through our security exchange. Once that's done, we've added our devices to this group. We're gonna tap done in the upper right corner and move on to our last step, which is creating behavior zones. Now there's a variety of things you can choose here. Um, one of them is templates. We've created very easy um, pre-programmed settings that you can apply and quickly move on to your next room or area, or you can create your own behavior zone. So I'm gonna do that in this example, select create a behavior zone. I'm gonna tap switch control, and I'm gonna select my two devices. They will turn orange, tap settings, and this allows me to select a setting that I'm going to apply for this switch behavior. Tap done in the upper right corner, We've now applied that, that behavior in that zone. Let's tap save to complete our process here, which is connecting to the devices, pairing them together, and giving them that programming information. Once that's completed, we now have control and operation of our fixture, allowing us to turn it on and off. To learn more about our Enlight solution, visit us at enlightcontrols.com.